Okay, so after I uh, posted my last video on how to set up these prints, uh, a, a comment was brought up and it spurred some thought and I wanted to make a quick little revision to the technique um, to help some of you guys out with something that might happen. Right now, if you print like this and you go to do your your, your uh, vacuum form or your positive pressure, which I'd prefer, um, you're going to have it resetting from here to here. It's going to be kind of awkward. Now, it'll still probably work, but ideally you don't want this base back here to interfere with it. and you know, hacking it off is going to be a bit of a challenge. So what I would instead recommend is that you click on this and after you've sort of moved it close to where you want it, um, you click on this little box and you can shorten it. Okay? Um, so what we're trying to do here is um, actually, excuse me for a second, before you do that, w the um, you want to make sure that you're shortening in the local dimensions, not the world dimensions. World dimensions is going to, um, it's if you well, let's just give you an idea. If you see here's how it's going to squish, it's going to get kind of skewed. Okay, so let's hit uh, cancel, hit T for transform, hit the local coordinates, and now it lines up with it. So now we can just sort of squish it down, uh, keeping the same sort of uh, shape to it. And I'm really just eyeballing it, how big it should be from here to there. And now I'm going to slide it up, bring it into contact. And as I s mentioned before in the videos, if it does overhang a touch, it's you know, your model is not going to matter. I'm not worried about that right there at all. Um, so uh, I guess I would rather overhang up. Well, that doesn't matter. Either one of them are going to be they're going to be flat. So um, yeah, bring it down maybe a touch so that top part overhangs if anything. Regardless, this is going to be such a small gap that it's really not going to matter when you go to print. So, um, yeah, I guess just because I'm used to it, I'll line it to the top, leave that small gap, and um, or this little overhang right there, and it should be fine. So, anyway, that should uh, resolve that issue. And actually, by doing that, you're also going to have the potential to have even more prints fit on the printer bed, uh, which is also, of course, advantageous. So, all right, that's about it.